Hi there. In this lesson, I'll show you another way to enter our inventory items. Um, in the book I'm using on page 14, they have you add some uh, um, service items in the same manner you should be familiar with using the uh, inventory center or the items and services list. So another method is to again get a tabular view of all of your inventory items as you add them. So that is under lists and we have add, edit, multiple list entries. So as we know, um, well actually as we see here we have the customers in a list so they actually exist in a list as well as in the centers as well as our vendors that we added previously. So this is another way that you can modify that data. So th there's three ways so far. Um, I'm going to add the inventory parts and the data is in uh, the book that I'm using. I'm just going to add, um, I'm not going to add all five, I'm just going to add two just so this is nice and succinct. So if you wish to add your data quickly you can remove any columns that you're not adding any data for and you can rearrange the columns so you can quickly paste from Excel, which is a nice quick method, or just to be arranged in the order that you have them in front of you, which is what I'm going to use. So basically the only information I'm going to have, have is the, um, that I'm going to add is the item name, the, um, the description, the cost, the sales price, uh, quantity I presently have on hand, um, the uh, the cost of goods sold account, the income account, the asset account, the total value which will be calculated with the quantity times the cost uh, as of date. That's basically when we actually made the count, um, and then the the taxes for that item. So I'm going to arrange this grid or table to be in that layout. So again, I'm going to remove all of the columns I don't need, add the ones I do, and then arrange the rest to be in the order I just mentioned. So the way we do that is customize columns to display. Sorry, customize columns over on the uh, left. Sorry, right. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. So I've got my item name already here. I don't need sub item of, so I'm going to remove that. Cost I want. I want sales description as well. There's sales description there, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to move that up to the top right after the uh, item name. And then cost. And then I want the sales price. There it is there. Then I want the quantity. It looks like it should already be available here. I'm just going to move it up underneath uh, cost. There it is, quantity on hand. And uh, so cost quantity on hand and sales price. I want the sales price above quantity on hand. Cost of goods sold. I don't need preferred vendor, although it is a useful field to have. Income account, asset account. I'm not going to enter anything for reorder point, although I do use that in real life though the uh, system will warn you when you drop below the level you enter here. Max, uh, if you have inventories, items that take up a lot of space, you probably want to set a maximum amount for those. Total value, that's automatically calculated again by cost times quantity. Sales tax code, I want that. I don't want the part number, although again it's useful to have purchase tax code, and I also want the as of date. 
as of date, I'm going to put just before the sales tax code. So just double check my list. I've got item name, I've got sales description, I've got cost, I got sales price, I got quantity on hand, cost of goods sold account, income account, asset account, total value, again calculated as of date, sales tax code and purchase tax code and I'll choose OK and you'll see my interface is limited to just those columns. Now I'm just going to add two because there's a little trick that's useful if you have if you're adding more than one. So notice it says uh, there's a time-saving tip. So basically if um, a number of items have the same information down one column you can right click on that column and then copy down. It's kind of like autofill in Excel. So um, all of my um, items have the same cost of goods sold account in this example. In real life, they may not. Um, they all have the same income account, asset account, as of date, sales tax, and purchase tax. So I can copy all of those items down instead of entering them. So it can save me some time. So I would put all of those items that I can copy down at the end of my table. Um, and that's basically what I've done with the exception of the total value. Again, that's calculated, so in effect, the same thing. I'm going to choose OK, and just I'm just going to enter two items so you can see the effects of that. You can add all of them if you like. So this is an Acer laptop. Again, this data is in the book I'm using. If For those of you who have the book, We don't really need to add all of the data. You get the idea after a couple items. And we have six of these on hand. So we did a count, right? That's, that'll affect our um, inventory asset account in the general ledger. And merchandise sales. There it is there. I'm using my arrow to select. And that's calculated. And again, day, month, year for me, so 31, 12, 15. Your, your uh, system date time settings may be different than mine. Sales tax, usually, uh, this is again in BC, uh, Canada. So we have um, provincial and federal tax affects our customers. As a wholesaler or as a retailer, I only pay GST. And I'll just add one more thing. Brother laser. By thing, I mean inventory item. Black laser printer. And 129.95. And 299.95. I've got five of those and again I'm just gonna notice I wanted to pop in automatically so that's where we can use that trick that I was mentioning and everything else is the same so I could copy that down like that little tooltip or um, dialogue that popped up showed me so if I right click I can choose copy down not so useful for two items but if you have 20 that saves you a lot of time same thing with the as of date and the purchase tax code. Purchase tax code, there we go. And I'll save changes, and okay. Done with this screen, I'll just choose close, and this is a good time to leave off for this particular lesson. Thanks so much for watching.